Let's prove that root 3 is irrational. Again, we use proof by contradiction method. Proof by contradiction. Let's begin with an argument that root 3 is not rational. So that means we assume root 3 as rational. We know that root 3 is rational number. Root 3 can be written as p by q where q not equal to 0 and p and q are integers. Right? Right. Especially I want to keep my p by q in simplest form. Example, let's say p is 2 and q is 4 and cancel them such a way that there is no more cancellation possible and uh, you get a simplest form. And I want simplest form. Okay. Now, what I am going to do is the next step p square by q square. That means I square LHS and RHS. Then I get p square by q square equal to 3. Then p square equal to 3 into q square. Now here one important step I am going to observe that 3 actually divides p square. Right. So 3 divides p square. Since 3 divides p square then 3 also divides p. Okay. What is the reason sir? Just try to understand. So 3 also divides p. The reason you have p into p. Correct. We know that this p into p is divisible by 3. Then uh, this p also should be divisible. The reason, let's say, uh, what is the other alternative? Let's say 3 is not div dividing p. If 3 is not dividing p and 3 is not dividing this p too, then it cannot divide this uh, like p square. So why, sir? Uh, I might have this thing. Uh, my argument is Some part of that means you know some part of p is let's say x okay that means uh, p has x as a factor and this p has another factor y so x star y is 3 so now since x star y is 3 so then obviously p star p is divisible by 3 but you see you are taking x from p y from p so then x into y is a factor of p so obviously then 3 divides p correct so in any case you see 3 divides p this is an informal argument fine okay since 3 divides p what can i do is i can just remember it first at this moment i just remember now this p into p can be written as 3k into 3k right because p is divisible by 3 so 9k square remember now let's come to this q part we have p square equal to 3 into q square. Since p square equal to 9 into k square, that is equal to 3 into q square. So, let me cancel this 3 3 is a. Then you end up with q square as 3 into k square. Now, same argument you see. q square equal to 3 into some integer. That means q square is also divisible by 3. That means 3 divides q square. Right. If 3 divides q square, then 3 divides q. Correct? Now, remember one more information that 3 divides q. Then I can write this q as 3 into some integer. Let's call it as i. Right? Now, let's summarize. So, we proved that p is divisible by 3. So, that p equal to 3 into j, where j is an integer. Since q is also divisible by 3, then I can write it as 3 into i. Now you see, p by q equal to 3 into i, 3 into j by 3 into i. Then I can cancel this 3 and 3. But you know that p by q is in its simplest form. How could it possible? This is called proof by contradiction. So let me extend it and really tell you what exactly means, uh, means by uh, proof by contradiction. So we have taken root 3 as rational, right? Root 3 is rational. Whenever it happened, then we got two things. One is p by q, uh, p by q in simplest form because we have taken it. Second time, after some of the manipulations, we got same p by q, not in simplest form, right? But how it is possible to uh, have p by q in simplest form, both simplest form and not simplest form? So that is not possible, right? So that means one of them is true, one of them is false. So we got both. So that means true and false is false. So like then I can say that when root 3 is rational, 
then finally so we are getting a false right so that means root 3 cannot be rational this is called proof by contradiction so root 3 is irrational